We finally found it. First things first, Monster have released this Lewis Hamilton Zero Sugar energy drink. <sighs> Secondly, let's give a massive shout out to Anaheim Ducks. They just won their first game in which seems like forever against New York Rangers last night. <laughs> Pretty hyped about that. Speaking of ice hockey, this weekend me and Chloe are going up to Basingstoke for the weekend. The reason why we picked Basingstoke is because sometimes me and Chloe got to Basingstoke to watch ice hockey, uh, the Basingstoke Bisons. It's gonna be a nice weekend, a bit of fun and relaxation. And so I've just been getting the truck ready for, uh, it's not such a, a long drive, it's just a drive and I don't wanna break down on the mainland knowing that we've got to come all the way back so also in the news caddy covers uk have resurfaced and they are back on the scene and they have restocked up the series 2 cover which they gave us about a year ago if you remember rightly on the channel uh, we did an unboxing review and updated review as you know I've, i'm going away this weekend and we're going to need the cover so you know we can put our luggage in the back so i'm going to put the the Caddy Cover Series 2 on right now, and I'd like to talk you through it. This is by no means an installation video, a review video, or anything like that. This is literally me showing you how easy it is to put the Series 2 cover back on. Now that I've put on and taken off and put back on the cover so many times, it's now become so easy, so much more easier to put the cover on and there's less faffing. There's certain things I do, like when I take the cover off, I keep the clamps together, I keep the screws in place so it makes it so much easier when I put the cover back on the next time. So starting off, sad news, the bag that you store the cover in had sort of like ripped and it just looks like it tears really easily. So off to a bad start, but nonetheless, it's just a bag. It's just a little cheap bag, isn't it? It's, it's, it, it, it is what it is. So firstly, I make sure I've got all six clamps. I then make sure I've got a Phillips screwdriver. And then the only other tool you need is a 10 millimeter socket. So the first thing I do is get the little Velcro strip things and then I get the actual cover itself and put that into place. Now, I do believe that since Caddy Covers are now back on the scene, I think, I think they've actually updated the Series 2 because the only real criticism that I have with the Series 2 is the seal at the back, the little rubber seal that butts up against the truck. It just wasn't properly covering it. So I think now, since hearing that feedback, I believe that Caddy Covers have actually made some changes to make the seal a little bit more sealed. So the next thing I do is I undo the screws on the side, just just loosen them up, I don't need to take them off. The next thing I do is attach the velcro rail things to the actual cover thing and tighten up the screws on both sides. One thing to remember when putting this cover on, if you've got the series 2, is that you want to keep those velcro rail things sort of like lined up correctly the whole time. So when you put the clamps on, you wanna make sure that the, both the rails are sat exactly where you want them. And the other thing to remember is to always keep the, the part with the seal butted up right up against the back of the truck. Now it is helpful if you've got a second person, but after a while, you can do this on your own. Now, when I take off the cover, I don't completely disassemble the clamps because it does make it a little bit more tricky when you wanna put the cover back on. So just loosen up the clamps. It just makes it so much easier for next time that you can just slip the clamps on over the rails and just tighten them up again. Now, when you do this, you wanna make sure you give a good even distance between each clamp. So I put one here, here, and here. Now remember what I just said, you always want to make sure that Velcro rail thing needs to sit in the correct position. Make sure it stays in that position the whole time, especially when you 
tighten up the clamps and you might want to do this in stages it might make things a lot easier and when you've done this just simply repeat that on the other side once we've done that I'm just gonna roll the cover down checking to make sure that everything is sat in the correct position and everything's tight and yeah good to go Another thing I need to do is put the LX badge back on this side of the truck. If you remember a few videos ago, it actually came off whilst I was washing the truck. So I'm gonna take the badge, I'm gonna take off all the gooey, sticky stuff. Then I'm gonna get some more of those sticky tabs because they work great, uh, honestly, and it's so much better than using any sort of silicone or glue or anything like that. Um, this is much better. So we're gonna put those on badge and line it up correctly and jobs are good and it's been raining every single day for the past what seems like two months now and it just makes it incredibly you know that it's raining right now as you can see it's raining right now so it, it makes things so difficult to film when you want to be outside and everything gets other than that, I've been working closely with Matt from Cricket Customs. If you don't know Matt, he's the guy who has worked very closely with Auto Finesse in the past. He built the grey and orange V2 Volkswagen Caddy for Auto Finesse, along with other projects and things they've been doing. So, And you might have seen on the channel, we went up to see Matt at Cricket Customs before, and we did under-sealing the truck, amongst other things. So I've been working closely with him sort of as like a video editor, social media manager type thing. I've just been helping Matt to put some videos out there and just to give him more of a social presence online. So the thing with social media nowadays is if you are a business owner or if you have a craft, you don't have to just worry about that now. You have to worry about being this you know, so you have to be a social media entrepreneur, you have to know exactly when to post, what to post, who to post to, making sure you tick all these boxes. And it's like, there's so much more to worry about now. As a little side project, I have been helping a few brands, companies, a few friends, helping them out with showing them how to use social media to their advantage as well as promote their business and their brand or craft or whatever it is they do you know i sort of have been helping people and show them how to use social media to you know their advantage and to benefit them it's all good being a mechanic or you know having this business but if you don't know how to target towards your your audience it does become difficult like nowadays the way things are going you don't just you don't just become a mechanic or whatever you have to learn all these other th skills like you have to learn how to edit videos and photos and post and social media and websites it's like it can be very overwhelming so that's when i've what i've been doing is stepping in and helping out businesses and brands just to help them with this new social media world. So, the other thing I wanted to do today is change this wood grain, what I call the two titty dash. I wanted to change this out for the old black single titty, just for many different reasons, really. Like, none of the lights work except from this uh, alternator light here, or battery light, whatever you want to call that. That's the only light that works. Even though I fill the tank full, it only stops about halfway. The clock doesn't work properly. Obviously there's no speedo, so that doesn't work. But the light doesn't work here. Nothing, nothing works. Here is the old cluster. This is what came with the truck originally, because the truck used to have a black interior, if you remember rightly. Like there's someone who actually makes these ribbons, like they make brand new ribbons for these. And as you can see this, this has seen better days. So as you can see, this blinker or indicator light here isn't really going to work because it's missing a lot of that copper. But yeah, I just think this looks better. But there's no bulbs. I took all the bulbs out so I might need to use the bulbs that are from here and put them on there. Let's switch it up. Here we go. Which do you prefer? The two titty dash wood grain effect or the single titty black 
which is original to this truck. There's a lot of copper, I don't know what you would call this, but there's a lot of this copper metal that's just got brakes in it and it's just, it's just not good, man. Out with the new and in with the old. <laughs> There's so much more I wanna get done with this truck, but I think that we're gonna tackle those issues when we do the engine swap. For example, the hazard switch doesn't work. The reverse light doesn't work. I haven't hooked up my stereo in the glove box yet. And the speed, I haven't hooked the speakers up. Just to name a few, there's a couple of things. The good news is in a few days, we're picking up the engine and gearbox mounts. After that, we're gonna get some drive shafts. We're then gonna look at trying to get an O2A or an O2J gearbox uh, with 100 mil cups. At this point, as you know, we're on a budget. We're gonna try and get whichever one comes up, whichever one is easier to get, whichever one's closer and cheaper, that's the gearbox we're gonna go for. But we're on a budget and we're gonna work with what we've got. But we're still collecting parts for this engine swap. It's just really fun to learn about all this stuff as well, like what, to, what you need, what you need to get. It's really fun. And also thank you so much. There's so many people reaching out to me on Instagram that like I've got this part I've got mark 4 spares I've got this stuff if you need this I've got that so thank you so much to everybody coming through in the DMs with offering parts for the engine swap thank you other than that guys we're gonna get out of here thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed it leave me one of them if you didn't leave me one of them see if I give a shit also if you're new here please subscribe to the channel we're trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2022 it would mean a lot to me if you hit the subscribe button me and Chloe are about to get ready to go to Basingstoke for the weekend to watch some ice hockey and of course, have a nice, relaxing spa weekend. Much needed. Right, until next time, let's keep it positive and let's keep encouraging each other. Turn up the 80s, sounds of the 80s. Rhapsody, the greatest hit the day my mama made me.